What's going on everybody? My name is Max, I'm one of the community directors here at Perimeter Gaming, and today we're going to go over Sonoran Radio. This is both for servers and users, going over first time setup and configuration of this amazing resource. Let's jump in and take a look at it. To start things off, we're going to look at the user side. This is applicable for both Perimeter Gaming members and everybody as a whole. So if you're new to Sonoran Radio, that is totally fine. We got you here. And if you're not part of Perimeter Gaming, check out our links below. We can help you out. To start things off, go into your chat, type in slash radio. Now, you can't set a keybind in the 5M uh, keybind settings of GTA, but by default, it does not come with any. So hit enter. That will open this. You can see we have an arrow here, a cursor, and the radio pops up on both your character and on your screen. Now it's not on currently, we need to do that. Go over to the far right here where that little button is, give that a click and it pops up. Now notice this says disconnected. That's because we're not in TeamSpeak. Once you join a pre-configured patrol channel in a set up TeamSpeak server, you're good to go. And this is what things look like normally. This is good, right? To navigate channels, we use the dial or knob up top there in the middle. You can click on either side there to jump over a channel. Again, you can configure a keybind for this. There are just not any by default. You can also hit that little toggle button down there and it shows you the full channel list. So this is super helpful if you have a lot of channels and you wanna jump all the way down, you can see we hit that and we are good to go. You also hit that home button and you're right up top, good to go. You have some settings here, you can change the UI. There's not much here, but it is constantly being worked on to improve. So you can change your UI here if you want to. I think it's good the way it is. Now, additionally, you have contacts. If anybody else is active on the radio and in the channel, you can see them there. And in the scan list, that enables you to listen to, you can't transmit, but you can listen to multiple channels. So you hit that button, it adds your active channel. So you can see our numbers there, the same as our channel here. If we were to change channels, we can jump down, you see different numbers, we can still listen to that, we just can't transmit. Now one last thing before we're done, to close out of the radio, it's pretty easy. All you do is right click outside of the window and hit escape. That will put your radio away and clear it, you're good to go. If you want to use your radio in your vehicle, the functions are similar, just slightly different. You open it the same way with slash radio, you can see the UI is different. Some of the similarities, but things are kind of in a different place. You have that green power button that functions as the power on and off. Remember, you cannot listen to the radio when it is off. So you got to make sure that your screen is on and displaying and not black. Panic button is there, same spot. And you also have your channel navigation buttons. Instead of a dial, they are push buttons right there on the arrow. The home button, just the same. That touch screen stays pretty much the same as the handheld version. That is good to know. The important layout change, however, function change, is if you were to right click and close the radio like normal, that stays up there. The console is there and you function your vehicle like normal. To close it properly, if you don't want the UI, go back into your radio, hit that star icon, that will actually hide the UI and go back to normal. So just one slightly different note, but that is using the radio as a player. Let's get into the nitty gritty of server work. So this is assuming you already have a TeamSpeak server set up. Make sure you configure it this way and all that good stuff. Uh, also make sure you have an account set up and registered and you have whatever plan you would like. Go into your server that you create. You will see this information. Now we talked about patrol channels earlier. These are the physical channels that your members sit in on TeamSpeak. You do need to make sure the channel ID is in there. Just hit that add button. You put the information in for your TeamSpeak. It is super, super straightforward. Down here in profiles, these are actually your channels in game. For those that don't know, basically you sit in a TeamSpeak channel and then you sit in game channels. So these are what you set up. There are different things to note in the different features, which if you notice some of these are the same, those are the car to car non-repeated channels. So if you want a local traffic only that's not reliant on the towers, this is what you set up. You just need to make sure the numbers change. For this kind of stuff, if you don't know radio information that well, I would recommend the Sonoran documentation. It is very helpful in that regard. Looking at TeamSpeak really fast, 
you can see the plugin is there. We will talk about the plugin in the next section right up here, but you will miss the information on the right if it's not there. This is what we're talking about patrol channels. You don't need much. You just need a channel for people to sit in to register on the in-game function. That's all you need. Just make sure you see the channel ID right there. That is what you need. Lastly, let's talk about the plugin. This is what everybody needs in game. So go to the website, I'll have it linked down below. Download whatever version you want or need. For most people, that's gonna be 64 bit, depends on your operating system. That will download a file. Double click it once it's downloaded and you will get a window that looks like this. For first time users, just hit install. It is really that simple. As soon as you're in TeamSpeak, you will see it popped up there. It will be active as a plugin. That is all you need. You're off to the races. Believe it or not, that is it. That's a basic first look at Sonoran Radio, so hopefully this was helpful to you. My name is Max. If you are looking for a 5M community, check out Perimeter Gaming. You can find us at PerimeterGaming.com or Discord.gg slash Perimeter. If you want to find out more about us, links are down below. We do this kind of stuff a lot just to help the community. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you did find this helpful. We'll see you in the next one.